Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob. Welcome back to my channel, man. <laughs> it's been a while, I know, guys. I must apologize. Uh, I've just been so busy lately. Uh, every every bit of time I have uh, spare is going into um, our new uh, version 2 of Mars, obviously. And a uh, big thank you to a good friend of mine, uh, Superfly, that's been really awesome making models and helping out on so many levels uh, to make uh, Mars Vision 2 so awesome. <laughs> but anyway, this video is not about talking about that. Um, we're looking at Farming Simulator 25 that's coming up in November the 12th, as you can see on screen. And um, uh, I don't know if I should be excited or if I should be sad, but <laughs> I want to try my best and have a look at this uh, coming up and um, yeah, I'll just share with you my thoughts and um, feelings. Uh, anyway, if this is your first time on my channel, do remember to like and subscribe. I uh, do really appreciate that. And also, before we continue, a huge thank you to everyone that supports me on Patreon, on PayPal. I do really appreciate each one of you guys. You are awesome, man. So yes, let's get stuck in. So, Farming Simulator 25, what is it and uh, is there something to look forward to? Um, is it a disappointment? Is it something to really uh, sink your teeth into and be excited about? So, let's have a look um, what what they're saying. So, first of all, it says, we'll flood the fields with fresh water to grow rice. So, in other words, uh, we're getting one new crop, rice. Now, personally, I mean... Uh, you, you probably have to live in China to <laughs> grow rice. I know they grow rice in a few different places in the world. Uh, here in our country, uh, rice isn't really grown. Um, I know in Mozambique, that's next door to us, they do grow rice. Um, they've got a different rice tea in the flat plains of the one huge river. They do grow rice tea. Very, very, very tasty rice. Probably the best tasting rice that I've tasted in my life is in from Mozambique. Um, so um, I don't think uh, that is really a crop to, to launch a game with. But anyway, it's not my decision. It's what they've decided to do. Obviously, uh, growing rice, it's a totally different setup. Um, it's going to be done in water, as you'll see in the trailer. And um, obviously, some new equipment is going to be thrown in. And um, yeah, so for me, that part of the game is not really something I'm looking forward to because uh, I don't think I'll be growing rice very soon. <laughs> so personally, bad choice of a, of a new crop for the game. Um, I would have added that on maybe in, in uh, I see in, in, in the latter part of uh, 25, they're planning to do a, a new map. So maybe chuck that into the new map or, or s release just a crop in there with the game, you know, on the on an update or something like that. But I mean, there's so many different crops to choose from that would have been so much better. Uh, worldwide, for instance, coffee. Coffee has grown worldwide. We don't have coffee in the game, but coffee has grown worldwide. Uh, it's farming simulator. Guys, if you guys are listening, giants, um, put coffee in. Uh, hemp is another product that's grown worldwide. Very, very handsome product to grow. Um, so just off the bat, two products that you could have launched with the game um, and made it 200% more exciting for guys uh, all over the world to actually plant new crops, you know. So yeah, anyway, let's not be negative. Uh, totally, definitely not negative about it. Um, looking forward to the game as such, but we'll talk about that just now. But uh, let's just scroll down a bit. Um, uh, let's see what else is here. Yeah, this the trailer is here. Um, I'm sure, like m almost most everyone has watched the trailer by now because it's only two minutes long. But let's just sit through it and have a look. And um, so let's have a look together and just for for the fun of it. Rated E for everyone. Farmers know farming is an art. Like life, we know it can be hard. And it can be surprising, too. But sometimes it's about being at the right place at the right time. Wow. 
wise man once said that the best lessons are learned under the wide open sky. I think the same thing can be said about our art. Yeah, it can be messy, but it's always beautiful. So beautiful it can help you see yourself and the world in all new ways. In the art of farming, the soil is the canvas, the seeds are the paint, and the harvest is the masterpiece. Hey, this is pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty darn good. Is it missing something? <laughs> You're too cute to eat. Maybe some fresh spinach for a change? <laughs> okay, wonderful. Well, guys, uh, yeah, to be honest, um, the poor chicken <laughs> chicken and rice anyway as a wise man once said don't put a buffalo in the game <laughs> oh my with you all right so i forgot about the buffalo so we've got rice and a buffalo um or buffalo in the game i don't know how they're going to implement the buffalo will it be um breeding with buffalo maybe It'd be interesting to see what they come up with um a better choice than buffalo would have definitely been Wago beef. Um, I mean, Wago steers and Wago uh, bulls uh, or cattle is is breed, uh, bred like worldwide. I know in, even in South Africa, yeah, where we are, we we breed them, you know. So very renowned uh, meat. And I don't know it's been bred in a lot of places in the world. So that would have been... Once again, a, good, a better choice than a buffalo. But anyway, um, I'll be very interested to see what they come up with with the buffaloes, you know. Um, at least we get another animal for the game. Um, it, whether it's significant, I'm not too sure. I'll, I'll just give my five cents of info. I don't think the buffalo is really great, but it's something It's something good to, to, um, to have uh, more... Um, different uh, uh, more choices in the game you know so yeah it will be, it's great okay so farm in asia so we're gonna get an asian map by the looks of it okay here we go there are buffaloes too we want to embark on a new farming challenge in the lush a uh, east asian landscape filled with rice paddles do that build build an agricultural empire in north american environment with plenty in a North American environment with plenty of open space. Go ahead. Enjoy a scenic central European location with green fields between ponds and rivers. Build your dream farm right there. Farming Simulator 25 features three diverse environments for your farming venture. Okay, three diverse environments. Three diverse environments. So, once again, it looks like it's going to be released with three maps if I'm reading this correct not just one so definitely a uh, european map uh, american map and obviously an asian map so yeah kudos to that uh, it's definitely a good idea to have three maps we, we sort of gotten used to having three maps except for farming similar to 19 i think we had two maps uh, released with two maps and then later on the, um, i think the, the alpine map came came along you know as a as a, like a silver edition package or something anyway grow rice we've seen all about that and then they say yeah over 400 authentic machines so that's a, a very nice host of machines and items from more than 150 international top brands like class and ih and uh, uh, case ih and finn john deere all this stuff that we've uh, grown accustomed to voltra uh, uh, culture forestry and animal husbandry whether you build a legacy single-handedly or cooperatively a multiplayer you decide great so once again it's launched with a nice uh, amount of uh, equipment if i remember correctly farming simulator uh, 22 uh, was also launched with 300 odd 
uh, new equipment, or not new, but the equipment pool sort of has been growing, so that's very nice. But what I'm most interested in is there's a giant engine 10 coming out, and this is what uh, sort of, because I'm, my heart is in map making and building maps and enjoying um, sort of the, the the art of making nice maps, you know. So this is definitely that, that this is what I'm looking forward to is is the new Giants engine and obviously the abilities that comes with that. So that's what I'm excited to see and um, see what, what new things there are. So feel a deeper connection to your fields and nature thanks to the general tech upgrade so there's a, a general tech upgrade with improved graphics all right so there's a tech upgrade coming for uh, farming simulator 25 with improved graphics and physics based on the latest and modding friendly giants engine 10. right so here comes the, the the new additions including distant fog which you can see um, i'm sure that is going to really look pretty on the rivers and that and dams and that in the morning so the fog is going to be very nice and on shadows okay shadows i know they've done a lot of work on shadows in two, in 22 already um dynamic weather effects um i don't know what they mean with that but it looks like we might have proper thunderstorms hopefully <laughs> like with lightning we haven't seen lightning in the game yet i'm looking forward to real thunderstorms you know because a lot of places in the in the world has got real thunderstorms. So yeah, if if that is in the game, it's going to be wonderful. Ground uh, deformation. I'm looking forward to that. In other words, you'll probably have erosion when it rains and the water runs down. Maybe there's going to be erosion on the fields. I would I would really like to see that. It's probably one be something really awesome. The rom romantic life of virtual farming gets more immersive and atmospheric. Okay, so. Looks like there's going to be a significant graphics upgrade in 25. And that is what um, sort of makes my heart beat and pump and be excited about is is something that's going to look more realistic and it's going to look more beautiful. Um, and you're going to feel like you're really there in, in, in the environment, you know. So, yeah, that, that to me can work very well. Um, I'm looking forward to those changes. That That is something that I'm really excited about. More reveals and details coming soon. Um, and then it's just some pictures of equipment. Nothing that we haven't seen yet. And then they've got some tickets and stuff for FarmCon. And then they end off with a little um, buffalo there. I mean, not to not to make anything less of the, um, the Asian buffalo. It is a nice buffalo. But I mean the African buffalo. That's a real buffalo. Oh, man. I, I, I love the African buff buffalo. The ones we have here, that's like amazing animals. But anyway, even, even but even those, um, we in South Africa we don't breed with them. They are f just there for trophy hunting um, and for farming in um, large, uh, what do you call it, um, wildlife environments like parks and stuff and private game reserves. They keep those for for hunting, you know. Um, but um, it's not really a, a, a thing to breed and sell as meat, you know. It, it's more like uh, s because it's one of the big five in Africa. Yeah, it's a very uh, sought after animal, very, very, very expensive as well. So it's uh, I don't think that's something to breed with. <laughs> Would be nice, you know, to have it. But uh, like I say once again, um, it's not an animal that's um, all over the world, you know. So to launch a game worldwide and put that in there i don't think that will be the right choice either you know so <laughs> anyway i've put uh, put my my heart into this video and shared my thoughts with you guys and um if you agree with me that's great if you don't agree with me that's also great i'm i'm not it's not something to sort of uh be cross about because it's just an opinion um what i think um i'm sort of excited but not sure <laughs> <laughs> of the of the of, of the new direction uh, i'm sort of excited but not sure if if it was the right choice that that, that would be my that would be my um my best uh what can i say my best foot forward um opinion and uh, to say yeah i'm not 100 percent sure if if rice and asia map was that i think the asia map will might 
because Asia is beautiful country, uh, definitely beautiful. So maybe maybe it will it will be really detailed map. Uh, I really hope so. I must uh, it, it must be jaw dropping map. Um, to uh, sort of knock you off your feet type of thing when you walk around it with all the awesome stuff that they've put in it to really um, um, sort of turn people's minds because I, I know th there will be a lot of disappointment there, there might be a little bit of excitement but uh, from my side I'm excited to see the new game and or the new um, version of the game and I know the guys has put a lot of work in it and I really hope they've made the right choices and that we can uh, yeah, look forward to something awesome for next year <laughs> and obviously I'm looking forward to build my new map for it definitely definitely I uh, just hope I really hope from the bottom of my heart I hope it will be worth uh, spending my time and effort you know um, building a new map in Farming Simulator 25 but we'll see I'm, I'm excited to see gameplay guys that's what I'm really looking forward to um, have they uh, sort of um, addressed things like um, terrain angles? Have they addressed uh, the seasons properly? Uh, a lot of things, you know, that that will be nice. Um, a bit more more uh, interactive terrain, I think, is what everyone is really looking for, and it sort of looks to me like we're going in that direction with the with the terrain that's starting to go. Um, to a road and that type of stuff so maybe 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 there's hope guys <laughs> don't lose hope i think i think it's gonna be awesome i really i really hope so um hope with me and uh, thank you so so much for watching and once again uh remember to like and subscribe if you haven't done that yet and uh big thank you to my supporters have a wonderful fantastic week guys i'll catch you on the next one cheers